All right, boys, we got a massive boys only episode. Before we get into it, prize picks. Boys, Super Bowl is coming up, and you guys have heard me say this before, but if you have not tried the prize picks app, try it out Super Bowl Sunday. Trust me, especially right now because there's a bonus. You can add Patrick Mahomes more than 0.5 yards. It's pretty much free. Add that to any of your picks this Super Bowl Sunday, and it's just gonna boost your whole card. Instead of choosing teams, you're choosing individual players. So each player has a set projection, and you either go more or less than that set projection. So fill it up with a few picks, and then slide the Mahomes 0.5 yards in, and it'll boost your whole picks. Trust me, I'm taking advantage of that Super Bowl Sunday. We're going big, big firing. Prize picks available in 70% of the United States. California, Texas, Florida. And also boys, for first time users, we have code NELK right here. It's a 100% deposit bonus. So download the Prize Picks app, use code NELK. Take advantage of that code, that's for you boys. Super Bowl Sunday, we're crushing happies, firing Prize Picks, let's go. Well, fuck it. I'll no, hide Josh. Well, we'll just roll it. Put in what the <laughs> f*** are you saying, bro? Are we First good? You're going to start off with a turtle with that vibe? First thing Why? back. Are we going? We're, yeah, yeah, it's live. You just said that on camera. I was in the car with Brad. And Put it in your thought ass. this was a LeBron return to Cleveland. <laughs> bro, what? That's what you were I'm saying. Back. It was a big moment. No, I'm back, bro. You said something about put some Though, like, I, don't I didn't say that. The first thing we say on camera is put this. How do you like, start the pot on that note? I didn't know we were rolling. Yo, this is actually dope without no money. He likes that. It's ten times better. This is actually sick. It's, it's like we're just talking. I think we, you deserve a standing ovation. I don't know if we're gonna do that, but yo, it's, it's amazing to have you Whoa, back. Oh, let's go, baby! Let's go. We're here. It's lit. Thank you. That felt good, dude. How do you That's feel? You seem excited, bro. Dude, honestly, I stepped in here and I was like, wow, where have I been? This is like just living in penthouses in Miami now. I'm like, damn. This is just this guy, actually. Did you miss it? You missed being on the pod. Oh, I love. Okay. I gotta talk about this. I, I always love to be on a pod. You know that. I told you that. Um, yeah, I just think the vibes. I just think the vibes are so good, man. Like, oh, I, but good. when you keep it together, obviously. What's up? When you can reel in and keep it together. Yeah, hundred percent. Sometimes you can't. When? Give us an example. I mean, the tape podcast. You can, we were coming up. We were talking about that clip. The tape podcast. Dude, did I, I, I crushed the already? tape podcast. Did you? We were, what, when Brad was oil. touching tape? Yeah, yeah he, he brought that. Did anybody have funny. a count on how many times you touched him? I think it was 50. You talked with him for like two hours, but I was outside talking to him after, though. Like, it was the longest no, conversation ever. Why yeah. did you, you tapped, like, you were, you, you had, like, you were about to f or some shit. You kept tapping him, like, Dude, aggressively. Dude, all I know is, what's funny about that clip is, like, why did that come, like, how many years later did that clip just pop up? Why did that clip get creative like that? I don't know, and I called you out a There's year ago. a lot of creative, like, Clippers out there and shit now. Well, Clips is everything. Like, they'll now. take the content and just spin it in like a totally different way. Yeah, Clips is everything. Which now. is cool. Yeah, who decides to like take that content and then make that clip out of it? Like, Brad touching. Yeah, the Call of Duty, the Call of Duty attack sign. Like, that's yeah. what it was. Well, we were talking about how you, you kind of did blow him a little bit and. Wow. I think that you caught on, him? and that guy's like, wait, yeah. dude, he did tap in 50. Yo, that's what pissed off Brad last time you said that, bro. Yeah, no, I'm we're over that. But I never blew him, though. You, like, dude, you. Dude, I was high. It was a dope conversation. You said you were going to press him for being late and wasting your time, and then oh, you were like, we and then you again. finger tapped him <laughs> 50 you're times. Another, you're trying another viral moment? No, I'm not. Trying to get, dude? I'm just saying, you finger tapped him a lot. Dude, I was excited. I had a good conversation. I think I was honestly trying to like get his attention to stop just like the nonsense you were just fucking spewing. Like he was looking over at me being like, this guy just asked me this fucking question? How many times do we have to cut that out? Come on. Don't yeah. let me get roast you on here. I hit up Tate too. I said, yo, we got to come to Romania because we've been trying to do that for a while. Yeah. He said maybe we could go in February. I would love to go to Romania, dude. Yeah. Because I was not, I didn't get to go on that trip last time. Romania or yeah. Dubai? We didn't go. We never No, oh, that was Croatia. Oh, Croatia. Croatia. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Croatia. You missed Wait, Croatia. Why didn't you get to go? I don't know. I just wasn't, no, I wasn't, I didn't get the invite. It was, it was pretty last minute. Oh, yeah. that's right. We didn't have no Brad hotels. was in LA. There was no flight to even yeah, get yeah. in there at that time. We decided, we did, that was like a 24 hour notice thing, I remember. God damn. We got you next time, bro. <laughs> I love Fuck. that. I love it. We got no, you. Do no, we want to have Brad. We want to have you on more episodes. I yes. think without getting too much into it, there's just a lot of bullshit. Hundred percent. With with social media and just fucking yeah, business and fucking third party factors and shit like that. Yeah. There's always some shit. But I personally love having you on the pod. I've yeah. always loved you as a friend and doing content I with you. you so. And I, re I respect the.
Okay, you know, I understand yeah. how things go and I have no, like, I even said it many times. I was sometimes like, it's out of my control too. No, I just feel like this is sometimes recited. Th sometimes, this, Steinies, this sounds recited. sometimes Steinies in my ear too, saying that's that he bullshit. wants more clips and shit, so. I yeah. believe that though, because I believe he's the guy who come to me and be like, I'm bro, your biggest I supporter. I told him all the time to yeah. put you on, oh, yeah. but he goes to him like, bro, that's just oh, me and you, dude. Let, then go ahead and tell him. Have what? I not said, yo, dude, I really want to have Brad on the pod? Yeah, no, of course. Steinie loves you too. Very well, supportive of you. I'm here though, we're here. But when okay. Trump comes around, he's like, this is our moment. Yeah, you would do that, bro. Dude, I want to interview Trump. How many so times bad. did you how many times are you gonna fucking tap Trump, bro? That's not gonna fly 16? with him. Yeah, that's not gonna fly with him. The Secret Service is gonna be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, stop touching That'd him. actually go crazy. You fighting all the Secret Service? Bro, I would not they would shoot me. I'm not playing that game. There's I wanna run we gotta run tape back this year. Trump is definitely Bro. Yeah, for election. I mean he's probably I mean can we talk about that? He's yeah. probably gonna be president. You think so? I think so. I think because so many people don't want Biden who even wanted Biden before. Like, I was talking to my mom. My mom's, like, huge, like, Democrat. And she likes Trump now? And she's even like, I don't know about this Biden guy. She's, she's, so she's like, even the people who are over there are now just like, this guy can't even speak. Biden. That's what I'm finding. Oh, yeah, by the way, Nino's on the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, know. yeah, maybe a round of applause for Nino. Oh, yeah. no, I was just letting you guys talk, you know? But Biden, though, like, he's, like, 82 now, right? He's, yeah, he's, he's getting old as shit. So, by the way, so, yeah, we were in Toronto. I don't know if you guys saw... Me and Nino have linked up a ton of times before then, but off um, camera. Off camera, yeah. Right? But Nino, whenever I go back to Toronto, I hit Nino up to film. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we went to UFC, and I don't, did you see the video of Drake? Yeah. Holy We're shit! Him. Like we see each other, we dab each other up and shit. And then Drake looks at Nino, and he's like, "Yo, Nino's back in the mix." Bro, I, I want to understand it. how is Drake so tapped into social all the time? Oh, but that's what that's the thing about Drake though. He Smart. likes to move in silence. Like he doesn't say anything. But he, he keeps up with like the social media world. A hundred percent. You guys are boys like that? But I respect Drake for that no. and all the Nelk fans too. Like for Drake to like, obviously yeah, everyone knows moment. 905, but like uh, for Drake to like so know 90 like that is pretty OG. fucking sick. What happened yeah, was, OG shit. he like jump scared me. Like he, he jump scared and then he already knew who I was. I didn't even say a word. And then I was like 905 shooter. Like, and then, and that's when the video started, right? That's insane. What's, what's the volume of this? Yeah, this shit right here. What's the volume? There you go. Why didn't you shake the house? Oh, no. He said he was gonna pop up for a drink. So he, didn't he had a lint, on, he had lint <laughs> on his chin, and then like, I literally he, said you won't do it. He's like, I will. He didn't pull up. And then, it, um, yeah. and I, that's when I took the lint off his jacket. And then he's like, that's when he said like nine, nine, nine back in the mix. Bro, it's good to see you. Man. But you know what's funny though? Like he, he called. He's like, Drake's not showing up. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna show well, up. To we stayed there for like yeah, we were there for like fifteen minutes. Anyway. 40 40 minutes. Like, no, it was we literally like it was there for forty brutal. minutes. Yeah, we there for 40 minutes. You know why? This guy is like so good the, in detail. The but no, I think too, like I want to really step it up with content this year. Yeah. And me and Steiny always talk about too. We need a filmer and I know that's like around all yeah, the time. I mean, so I think we got to start. We, what, might, have to, uh, we might, have to, might have to bring you back as the vlogger. Bro. Nino's back! <laughs> Dude, that's, that makes me, it happened four years ago. Because the thing about Nino is like, he always has the camera beside him. And I feel like when we all used to live together in like that Fredonia house, we yeah. had two filmers that lived with us. And if anything was happening, we'd just shout and be like, yo, like grab the camera. Yeah. Now it's gotten a little more like unnatural where it's like, you don't have that camera around you all the time. Yeah. And like, you miss a lot of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm and, saying? And you was talking I about- I like how Nino always has the camera glued to his fucking hand. Cause yeah. you never know. I mean, 25% of the time- No batteries. <laughs> The battery will be dead or some shit hey, like hey, that. Hey, Nino will learn. forget to charge it, but that's just Nino. Yeah, but that was, you know that was I mean? six years ago, okay? You live and you learn. You just did it again at the gym. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, the yeah, fucking did. camera was dead. We to the gym and the camera battery is dead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just, that's just, that's what you get with Nino, right? But no, yeah. no, but I did get some content before it died. So it's not like I just <laughs> showed up there and it's like 5%. Yeah. You got like you know? three B-roll shots. No, uh, I, got like, I got at least a good solid like... We'll finish the montage next gym session, yeah. I'll wear the same shirt. Okay. Well, let's talk about content right now. Before we got on the pod, we were talking about getting everyone together and filming content. Obviously, it's really difficult because Steve can't be on YouTube, which that's another thing I think we're going to talk about today is like him trying to get back onto YouTube because he's trying, right? No, he's I know. Pleading. You're funny. Yeah. And, and then also like, but content in general is just so different now. Like where, where you can find it. You're talking about being on X and filming videos and putting them on X. And I think it could still work because whether or not people are watching full length YouTube videos or not anymore, because I know that's like not as much of a thing as it was do you, do you do that or no? Just upload to X? No, like watch like full length YouTube videos? Uh, honestly, I, I never really had. I yeah. only watched content that I, that I was in honestly on your channel. Yeah. I never would watch my old content. I yeah. never watched my stuff back. Uh -huh. So I never really watched content in general just because I was making it. But I think content like that we did, like you were talking about three years ago, like when we made content, mm -hmm. 
like all the time, I think it could really live on a place like X Inc. Because it's just going to get clipped up and put right. all over. You and just it, need a. You just need a. You really want to just get clipped up nowadays. But, everything and you clipped. need to put it out somewhere free that people have the chance to clip it up, right? Yeah. And, and everything is clip based now. Yeah. I, I saw Mr. Beast uploaded a video on X. I thought that was kind of interesting. What, what was the video? What, it was the it was the car video where he was like the. But the he got paid to do that, right? But he's I, I he's YouTube's so. yes, he poster did. boy. Yeah, yeah, he did. Well, he he showed that he made no, but Twitter Twitter paid him to make that video. Oh, to upload X. that video to, yeah, to Twitter. Yeah. But isn't that kind of shocking? I know that he's for a fact. YouTube's like the face of YouTube. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad to do a favor for Elon though. Two hundred sixty thousand right? dollar pedaling car. <laughs> and he's, he gave away all that money apparently to just people on a, on like. A, people he got the retweeted highest, it. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't just make that off like yeah. Twitter AdSense. He got like, the most retweets pedaling. in YouTube history. Wait, what? With yeah, that yeah tweet. I saw that. Because yeah. he's giving away that money. It's like three point nine million retweets. I'm like, how the fuck do you pick the winner? I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Have you it. tried his chocolate yet? I think X would be sick. They got to get on fucking smart TVs and shit. I don't like it. That yeah, would, as far as a big. platform to just view content. Yeah, and just make the hard. video a little easier to digest, like the video section of X. But, yeah. dude, I mean, I'm getting sick of YouTube a little bit too because it's yeah. just like even we did that Zin video recently. Yeah. And it got age restricted. Wow. What's, what's the beef with Zin? I don't get it. So, I think yeah, I don't know if you saw that whole product. New York Times article that came out. No, but I saw this video. You gave yeah. Tucker fucking yeah. So we did this video, and then um, the New York Times uh, did an article, and oh. they basically kind of like they thought that we were promoting Zin, just like you asked me. Yeah. Okay. And they they were like, then I checked my email, and there was like a whole uh, questionnaire from the journalist, and she's like, Philip Morris, that's like a big t tobacco conglomerate. Yeah. They bought Zin for sixteen billion dollars, so they wow. own it. So she was basically thinking that we were secretly working with Philip Morris. Cause she's like, why the fuck would you guys be doing this type of video for free? So she's like, are they sending you free gifts? Have they ever tried to contact you? What the fuck? And we're like, nah, like we just fuck with Zin. Like we're wow. not getting paid to promote this. So in the article, it literally says, you know, like, you know, our boy freezer tarps too, right? Yeah. It literally says in the article, she, she reached out to TikTok. Cause I guess they have those direct connections to TikTok and YouTube. Yeah. And TikTok literally said, okay, we removed his account. Wow. So they deleted his whole TikTok account because of this journalist. Wow. And then it literally says in the article too that she reached out to YouTube about our short that we posted, the Tucker yeah, Carlson yeah. one. And YouTube said we placed the age restriction on it. So obviously the So issues... these platforms are now, they don't want to be responsible for promoting nicotine to youth. I can understand that. Which makes sense, right? Yeah. Well, especially if publicity is coming out like this, right? Yeah. It makes YouTube look bad if they're allowing content that's maybe we're promoting uh, Zins to minors. Yeah, I see. But I checked our fucking YouTube analytics. 2% of our audience is under 18. Wow. Yeah, so. 2%, 2.2. Out of how many? It's the lowest category besides 65 plus. Like 18 to 24 is huge. Yeah. 25 to 30, 30 to 40, even 40 to 55. Yeah. Is bigger than under 18. I guess us. you could lie. I mean, I don't think you'd lie about being like 40 or 55. No, but yeah. lie would be 18. 18. But even you, kids. bro, how much, how often does a fucking 12 year old fan come up to you? Never. Never. Like, yeah. I think people love to like make that misconception that we have young fans. Like, yeah. oh, they just have fucking 12 year old fans. It's like, no, no, we actually don't. Yeah, like, a lot of like mostly grown ass men come up to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. or like 18, 23 year olds. I even, I even like, when I was doing like my own work, I, I know people like, he's like 18, 19, they're like, I've been watching you for like, since I was like 13, like six years ago and all that. Yeah. And it's like, the progression of like, how old these kids get and then watching them from the very beginning, it's like, a whole new generation of kids now watching. But I think that might be the concern is that they think that, yeah. oh, some 13 year old might be watching you now that says he's fucking 18. Yeah. But it's like, we can't Yeah, it's a valid that. concern. But yeah, it's just, I mean, Especially with this year, election year, it's probably gonna be crazy on YouTube. You know who's paying for all the ads? Yeah. It's not Republicans, probably. Yeah. Like, Democrats are gonna fucking own YouTube this year. It's such a weird, that's such a weird concept. Like, they're gonna, f it's gonna be f this year. Fuck, yeah. oh, dude. Right? This is the most controversial year coming up, probably in American history, maybe? I, I, I believe so. I do. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then, so, so, like, cause there's one of these points on here we're talking about, like, the people dropping out, like, DeSantis and Vivek just dropped out. So now it's just Trump and Biden, it seems like, right? Yeah. I guess match? Nikki Haley's still technically like in it, but she's not, obviously, has no chance. Yeah. How do you guys think that's going to go, genuinely? Trump's going to win, I think. Yeah. I, How can I, you I don't think no chance Biden's going to get I don't, I don't see, if he's electable, I don't see who can yeah. vote for Biden, unless they like rig it or fucking... Unless it's the man. seniors, like older people. Older people probably will vote for Biden. I just don't really know, because I've always liked Trump. 
Yeah. So for me, it's like nothing's really changed. I just don't know how much the other side has woken up. Or I think enough people have seen that, like, you know, simple things like just basic speeches. Is just yeah, but yeah. that's the other thing for Biden is he only goes, like, viral on social media when something negative happens. True. Yeah, that's so true. So people only yeah. see when he's falling or, like, I when see. he's mumbling his words. So you just assume he's always like that. So what do you think happens, though? Like, do you think something's going to happen if, like, like for example... I think, if, I think Gavin Newsom might step in. But not be in this in, in this race? Maybe. Whoa. I mean, that's what a lot of people are saying. Who? The governor of California. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I didn't hear the name. No, I'm not laughing at you, bro. Gavin. I was playing as me, man. Yeah. yeah, I mean... He's good. He just know. debated DeSantis and shit recently, too. So he's been, like, doing shit. I just yeah. don't see how Biden can run, right? No, he's physically... Like, everyone unable. knows he's mentally... Everybody complain about him, say that he has dementia, say he has, like... Right? That's what they say they have dementia? Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy fell off a bike. <laughs> Remember when he was riding that bike, he just fell off randomly? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting. I don't, I don't know how it's going to go. I just wonder what, what really happens, like, afterwards, whether he wins again or if Trump wins, like... Something's gonna happen, I feel. People are never happy, in my opinion. Like, I'm yeah. like, why well, you think it's just like outrest? Like, if he doesn't win, like, if Trump, in my opinion, if Trump doesn't win, like, it's people are, there's a lot of people are gonna be like, yo, no more of this shit. Like, we're, this is a lot. Like, like civil war type shit? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's what yeah. it feels like. Yeah. You know, like, when we talk about, like, the whole border thing, like, the fact that, that the, the governor in Texas has to be like, yo, since federal government is not doing anything to stop this, we're just gonna stop this. And then people are like, well, you we can't do that. It's crazy. And it's like, well, someone has to do it. And so now you have all these people, all these other like states who are agreeing with Texas that are sending like their own like National Guard. Like the National Guard is coming to like be there as well and like set up a real, I guess, border. It's crazy as fuck. You didn't hear about that? No, no more, no more fence or no more uh, wall. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that never went through. Like they never really fully did that. Yeah. But now they're talking about like people like the, the state of Texas actually taking it in their own hands to go and like stop some of the sort of like just illegal Dude, shit. have you ever, have you ever considered cr- yeah, running for know. anything like that? I would love to. I mean, I, I, I have to learn a lot more. To be Arnold did it. I don't know. It made me think he To do what? Become like governor or something. I would That's love to do, of, I would love to. You're definitely it. smart enough. I think so. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I would need to learn a lot more for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's also so like, much. It's so much work to go into politics, though. Yeah, and yeah. then you can't, you can't, you can't be in that spotlight and have side pieces. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't have side pieces. I was just bro. gonna say that. Wait, wait, I mean, yeah, you can't. And they're gonna dig everything up about yo, you. That Loki yeah, makes yeah, yeah. me think like we don't fucking give JFK enough credit for Loki pulling Marilyn Monroe. Whoa. Well, there was no phones back then. That's but he's easy. Sneaking around the White House. No, there's like, no, that's... So, there's no social media and shit. No, like that. that's easy. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is like, I kind of like. Like, I think loyalty is important, but I give him respect for that. Imagine like Trump, Trump back in the day. Yeah, all, <laughs> all word If mouth. Trump ran when JFK ran, yeah, he would have been fucking plowing White House would be in the popping. White House, Yo, we you know what? That's the yeah. thing, though. It's like all word of mouth, though. Like, back in that day. And by letters. Well, it was word of mouth and also just completely media controlled, too. Yeah. Like, because now the, 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 the most different thing nowadays is that social media is changing perception on everything because you have so many people speaking about certain topics that before you just didn't hear. You just heard what. The media was telling everyone. Yeah, it's I all think propaganda. famous guys were just fucked back in the day. Bro. Oh yeah, they were just fucking. Oh for sure. Like Ric Flair pretty much said like, just did whatever we wanted. Holy totally <laughs> like, shit, Ric Flair! What a time, dude! Like, it's fucking crazy. They yeah. they were just like, I don't know. They were probably just doing whatever the hell. Speaking they of politics, Steiner be in trouble all the time, man. You love back then. He can like literally, like you know, <laughs> trying to be famous but like gotta be in the closet a little bit. In the clock? Damn. I don't know where yeah, he's going. Yeah, remember, with this. like, have you watched that movie? Like, was it, I actually watched that with your girl in. Um, you guys, like, all puddled up in my dream. No, that's what happens. I fucking. It's crazy. I hang out with my girl, do what we need to do, and then she hangs out with Gabe when I want to go do my thing. Yeah. Like, she needs Gabe company. is so clutch when you have <laughs> chicks around. I was, just, going I was just talking about this. It is what, really why, clutch. Why? I think girls think that we're, like, such douchebags, like, oh, they're fucking Trump supporters, douchebags. And then when they come in and they see the environment, and like we have a gay assistant, and like the house is organized. Chef Trisada. It's just like, yeah. like, oh, you know what? These guys are actually pretty nice and shit. Like that's true. Yesterday I had, I felt that vibe. Yesterday. I think it's, you help. You're helping. We got to give Gabe credit, to be honest. Yeah, I Gabe, think. Yeah. I think sure. it helps a lot. Brad, it, Both it, sides for me. Before we continue, I'm proud of you, dude. Thank you, Brad. You've really lost a lot. Like I saw you and was like, holy shit, this guy's like, bro. I like. Different. We've been. I think the environment changed a lot too. But like, I gotta say a big thank to Kyle and big thank to Dana. And I've, I'll, everybody that would, that would hang out because then I changed this whole thing for me. Of course, he's, he gave me incentives of money and I remember like, bro, like I see photos right now of what I was going for, what I look 
my last birthday last year. It's crazy. Bro, you, I look like I look like I was sick. I was sick and I was gonna die in a in a month. Yeah. It was insane. I'm proud of you. It's really inspiring. Yeah. But like he's, he keep like he keep posting photos of of me fat on his TikTok. Because it's insane. I don't realize that fucking big. Do you pull more now? To be honest, that's what me and Kai was talking the other day. You Before could. I you was could. like, is always something. I was something was like going on. Yeah, now like since I'm more like I'm more dial, I'm more like focus. I've been going to the gym every day. I've been doing everything. It's like I'm not pulling that much. Pull I'm still doing, but like I'm not. <laughs> you don't care as much. It sounds like, like I'm not going for it. Like I'm not. You're like, a horn. Bro. Like how you know that. No, I don't know like, that. I just, because he tells me, bro. He tells me. Go to IG and the other yeah, one, the yeah, yeah, second one. Look at that one. No, you're way fatter that than that. No, that one is, 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 is right now. If you look. Go to that. Oh, geez. oh yeah. man. Yeah. You look just like, you just look like McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I'd let you use my restroom if you came into my crib It's, not, it's like not chirping if I'm talking about it's the not. past. Yeah, it's yeah. not. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care at all. But like, it's bad. I'm proud of you, man, for real. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, cause like you really did a lot yeah. too, bro. To it's changed so much. It's fucking how, amazing. How much? How but much? not. But I think Gabe's like actually really dialed now. Yeah, yeah. now I'm impressed. Now Back he's like, it's now like, he's lifting. Yeah, I have a trainer now. now it's too. scary because now you're going to the gym by yourself. Yeah, I went yeah you're to the, the dark horse. You're the dark no horse in that competition. He went the last two days by himself. Yeah. Damn, I love it, man. Yeah, yeah it's so like, good. Bro. Like before, he was still on that stage. Like, yo, let me know when you're going. Like, please, like. And then if we didn't go, he, he didn't FOMO go. Type shit. Yeah, but now he just out. like goes by himself. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's when you know you're really. So do you know up. about the competition? March 9th? Right? <laughs> I saw some stuff about it. Yeah. What, you're yeah. pissed you're not in it? No, I was just. <laughs> you want to join last minute? I mean, it's a transformation, so you'd have to get bigger to win. You can't just be like that. You have to get bigger? It's well, transformation. It's... it's not best physique. So yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Kyle, Jimmy, everyone. Salim, Gabe, and Stein, I believe. Right? Everyone, yeah. Yeah. I thought Steve was in it. Steve in it too, yeah. Yeah. Cause Steve hit me and was like, bro, he was like, if he was like, I'll pay me, he was going to pay me a hundred K if he lost or some shit. Oh, Just this, that's a crazy Well, Steve was one. telling me too. He's like, I need some pressure on me to like, yeah. to, to do it. Right. Yeah. He definitely didn't want to pay me a hundred K. Yeah. That's hilarious. That actually, reason. that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's a, Yo, that's funny. Yeah, it's good. You wanted that too. You're like, fuck yeah, bro. Well, first I love that. Like he Let's make it 200 K. Well, first he was going to like not cheat on something, but then he was like, well, just fuck it. If I, if I just win or if i lose so if he loses i'm gonna collect my money so he <laughs> of course you 100k if he loses that's what he said i don't think he's gonna win that's kind of crazy to like collect on that bro steve's I not gonna win because he's he already... will just give me 50. bro i'm not gonna collect he, on he's it. what he's... i don't think steve's gonna win because it's it's easier for like i think gabe and salim are the favorites because they're starting from yeah, like dark a horses point. he's a dark horse well it's also like, like... How, how much of a transformation is steve gonna make in four months he's already looks good yeah yeah, yeah, that's it's true. It's way tougher, right? Yeah, I feel like Gabe already fucking won at this point. Well, yeah, I mean, he, like, but that's the Salim's, thing. He's like, Salim's dialing. Salim's looking yeah. good, but I feel like my next goal right now. Salim's okay, really before dialed. you give us some David Goggins shit, like, I, I think it's also got to be it. considered that, like, it should have, like, this was very poorly orchestrated. What do you Dude, mean? Just we're not gonna, you're we're gonna, we're gonna, not, what, what are, we're going to wait for Steiny to be like, all right, guys, I'm dialed. Like, <laughs> I love how you like. You like, say, no dude, offense, bro. You needed a fucking slap in the face. Like, we're not gonna wake. We're let's all wait for Steiny to be like, all right, guys, I'm ready to actually dial that's in. Not, like, that's it's not, not, not even where I was going. But what I'm saying is that his his transformation should not be measured from last May, which is like where it's no, gonna it's be measured not. from when he was 400 pounds. No, it's it measured should be from measured right from when he was. Yeah. So you would be the guy to complain about all these details. That's not being complaining. I'm just trying to what make it even playing ground, bro. When the competition started, I watched two. I'm competing against Big Pharma. Do you, think, competing do you think you even place top three? Yeah. You? Yeah. No chance. Bro, you're getting. I'm, you're drinking every day, going partying every day. That's so ridiculous. I don't drink every day. No, no, no. Well, happened? I want to make one thing really clear, bro. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. What I want to make one thing really clear, clear, and I'm not going to say nothing, but I have to. I have to be very, very disciplined compared to you. You're that's not though. How? Wait, wait, yeah. wait. I, I, but if in a real, I in think a real he's world, more disciplined than you though. Still. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. A hundred. So I'm, I'm, like you're gonna go in the fridge and eat a bagel after this pod. Bro, like today, we went to the gym and he just got on a phone call. That's all he does every day. I remember. I, I gotta make that money, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love well, a side phone call. Do you remember? <laughs> I saw on Snapchat. Remember Space Miami? You were. They went to the gym at like six a.m. and then they're like, "We're going to the club right after." And they see Steiny there at seven a.m. with like a bottle. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't. I couldn't resist going out that night. Bro. Exactly. So that's he. Gabe just proved the point. Yeah, you always gotta right. defend yourself. It's funny, huh? You just defend yourself. I don't yourself. give a fuck. Bro. looking good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Play this. Judd, play this clip, bro. 
Play the clip. Let me know when Gabe, you're putting up 25. <laughs> I see the weights are lighter there, though. 80s in each hand. I think the weights are lighter there. No, they're, they're not. They're, yeah, Stop they trying to take shit away from me. Are you being serious? 100%. No, they're not, today. bro. They're, they're like 10 pounds lighter. Wait, wait, wait. I How? think they are. I, I, I'm not even capping. I think they are. They are. I, I fucking rep those two right after you. Fake weights? No, I don't I think Stiney told the editor to cut it out of the video the way I repped them after that. I noticed it wasn't in there, but I was just like, like Kyle's arm looks crazy in there. Yeah, you, you, you always gotta defend yourself, bro. I, I, I I'm not def- I, bro. In what just way? In general, just so in do you. Well, bro, he gets defensive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disrespect you, bro. When am I? Disrespected? You get all fired up. What are you? Ta- you're, you're calling me out for getting defensive. I'm not calling you out. You have steam coming out of your fucking dude, ears bro. if I piss you off. I'm bro. not calling you out, bro. <laughs> Straight all. up. Okay, oh. I'm just saying sometimes you just you, you have to defend. <laughs> you, you feel like you have to defend yourself, right? I think shit. it's no defense. He gotta prove Talk himself. Talk about it. What? That's what like I'm victory? saying. Like, did you have you ever really fully addressed that? Like, did that the ever, shit? Did that really get to you? Um, I think that the way that it unraveled got to me a little bit. Yeah. What do you mean the way it unraveled? What does that mean? Like it was looked at as if like it was all me being like, yo, that that episode was weird. Like that was kind of trash because it was fucking weird, bro. Like everyone. Well, no matter what anybody says, like the energy was very fucking weird in there. From the beginning? From the very beginning when we walked in. I'll never forget it. It just felt odd. Something was off. Yeah. That's why I thought it was a setup at the end, because I was like, yo, there's no way this guy actually was this pissed. Well, who would have set you up? Kyle or them? Yeah, but Could like... Could have been a prank. Yeah, like that's what I thought, because I was like, yo, this guy's really pissed off. For what reason? I get it. What, what do you think's your coolest moment in your whole career, bro? Fuck. You've had a lot. Damn, dude. Yeah, I mean, that aged me right there when you said that. <laughs> it's okay. Um... You're pushing 40 or what? Dude, I'm, I'm 34, yeah. That's oh, a real thing. You're 35 I, this year. Yo, you know this what year. I think you need? I think you need to like a daughter and start making IG content with your daughter. A daughter? Yeah, I don't know. Dude, I, was, I did a MyPod. Oh, I, yeah. well, I did a pod with Sarah and oh, I was talking yeah, about uh, right. I adopting a kid. Uh, you're, you're, you're not adopting a kid. There's a clip of him. This one. Yeah, yeah, there's the clip. Yeah. It, this is Street Fighter. Dude, Obviously, this is a huge job. Bradley right Martin. Now. We don't even. On the let's podcast pass said he was going to be, he could be Mighty Mouse, but it is no Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse said, I'm going on vacation, but when <laughs> I get back, I'm down. They're not going to have an MMA fight, they're going to have a Jiu Jitsu match. What's up, by Bradley the way? Jiu Jitsu is no 10 times harder than fucking Spider Man. He has no fight. chance. There, is, is there a time limit? There is not a time limit. Then he has sir. no chance. Is that right? Zero chance. He's going to get his back taken. He's gonna oh, he's 100% going to get choked. Jiu Jitsu versus who? Mighty Mouse. That was Mighty Mouse. That's like, that was because because Shaw brought it up to me and I was like, at first yeah, Jujitsu like, would be probably harder for you. Way right? harder. Yeah. A lot you're of not cardio. striking. You can't really you can't smash someone. It's just kind of. Are like, you are you ever gonna do any type of? Dude, I'd love to. I've been saying forever I want to fucking do MMA with fucking Logan Paul. I feel That's like your I feel like your strikes are kind of slow. Logan though. Paul, you, you think you test it out? No, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Why are you getting heated, bro? No, I'm not heated. I'm just saying we can test it out. How do you, how do you set that up? I don't know, dude. Who do you think? What level you were like? Are you Jake Paul level in terms of like who you compete against? No, you compete Jake against Paul, him or you play against him? Like just Jake train Paul's with him. Too small. Yeah. Well, it's also like you're talking. Bo- that's like boxing. I'm not talking about doing boxing stuff. Okay. What, not against any of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about doing MMA stuff. Question is, do you think low, like these boxers would do MMA? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah. So is like, there anyone else besides Logan? Not really, right? Not really. I'm trying to think of a good opponent. No. I don't think Logan will do that. I don't think he'd do it. No. He, I mean, he's crushing the fucking WWE shit. Yeah. He's yeah. He don't need to do it. I yeah. don't even, it's like, that's the same thing when you talk about other people I'd fight. It's like, why, who else would I like really want to fight too? People I feel like, but, you that. dude, you're also, you're not a fighter. Like you're a lover Get boy. Get and Shulls mm. on the co-main event. Oh, boxing? <laughs> no, that's in the streets. We'll handle that. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez. Oh, you should be there too. For one. Do you think you could be there when I, when that goes down? I could be there, yeah. Who are you oh. siding with? Mm. Fake ass yeah. I mean, I have to side with you, but like... Well, you know, yeah, of course, bro. Yeah, I have to, I have to, of course. Uh, Why, you if you see him, it's on site? I think it has to be. Sidey, <laughs> do you remember? Do I have a choice? Are you calling, are you calling him out there? Do you think you could, like, reach... He's pretty tall. He's tall. Could he's you, tall. like, oh, reach dude. his head? Go to the body, bro. Just shots to the body. Or just tackle him. Kidney shot? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Imagine you guys just, talk a just, lot of shit. I just, fucking just body him like a, a no, little rat grabbing his head. I knocked you out. Uh, how long ago was that? Wow. Okay, but that was you like can't supposed... even pronounce your fucking Z's anymore, bro. That was you, can't, you don't know the alphabet. See what to do with me here, dude. dude that's Stiney is two and zero. Oh, Stiney, oh, Stiney, remember? What's you, the third one? Oh, Drew, Drew. Derek, like, yeah. and then Derek, that guy, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember? Did oh, I got you. I knocked you twice, guys. Did he beat Derek? Yeah, he did. Oh, did you see my comment, Stiney? I was like, keep your head up next time. He gassed, he gassed, because Derek wanted to keep going. Okay, okay. But also, Derek's, Derek was ready for that all day. He's been training. Yeah. Steiny was six happy dads deep, put oh, okay, on the okay. spot. Like, yeah. I wasn't there. 
I just but saw the, the, but the thing I saw is, like, it was, it was, like, it was honestly, it was, it was really fun, bro. That guy like, our, whole life is, our whole life is drinking and happy dad. They're, he's around Jake Paul, like training uh, for real. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But he was just swinging. I saw the oh, video. Yeah. He was just like swinging like a madman. I'm like, the guy was least, drunk already. I know, but Sonny, at least he, you know, he, <laughs> he, he, had, he had good defense. Could you imagine that clip though of like, he won. me getting slept? No, fighting Schultz and then like, Dude, I, got, Schultz, I don't even care. About Schultz will fuck you up. I wonder if we'll ever get Schultz part two on the pod. I'd love to do that. Bro, let's do it. Shots I, him, I, up, I would love sure. you. I can tell him. So I never. I don't know if I ever told you the story, but yeah, I think I was. I was like a little upset at him the way that. I, I think the way he handled it was kind of like. On the pod. No, with me. Okay. I think the way that he handled it with me was like pretty dust. Like personally, I was yeah, like, oh. like just like, it's just weird because like we did the pod. Yeah. It happened when we filmed it, and it was last November, right? Obviously. Yeah. So yeah. When it happened. He didn't want it out, but also evenly, Shulls did not want it out. Like he, I have the text. He was like, "We shouldn't post that." No, he did not want it out, and he was fucking in my ear, and Shulls was in my ear. I didn't give a. F- it didn't make me look bad at all. I was, I, you know, me. I laugh. Oh yeah, you love. This I laugh. It's funny. Yeah. I'm just laughing. Like I don't give a shit. But they both didn't want it out, and especially Shulls did not want it out. So I was like, "All right, I guess they both don't want it out." On to the next. Like I'm living my life. I don't care. It's one fucking. Then when did you decide to finally do it? Why? So then John went on a podcast and he said there was an episode. They asked him, was there an episode that ever, never came out? Oh, said, oh, okay. That's right. And he said, Andrew Schultz. And it was some like smaller podcast too, but it just went fucking bonkers. Yeah. yeah. It went viral. That's the internet. So then that's when everyone was, then of course they blame us. Like, yo, Kyle, why is Kyle holding this episode back? Right. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> then I, I messaged Schultz. I'm like, yo, we got to redo the pod. Me, him and John are talking in a group chat. Okay. And he's like, yeah, I'm down. Let's redo the pod. Blah, blah, blah. And then um, we're literally planning a date to do it. I think we were going to do it. We tried to do it in September in Toronto when he had his show. Yeah. So we're literally like on a text. Me, him, and John are on a text chat planning to do the pod. And then he just blindsides us, doesn't even text me, and just posts straight to his social media. Oh, shit. What did he say? I just get a mention. Like, Andrew Schultz mentioned you on Instagram. And it's like, no, release the pod. Like, release the pod. Like... He was like, been getting comments and shit. Yeah, he was getting comments, yeah. but he kind of just, like, if that was me personally, and I don't, I really still don't give a fuck. Yeah. But if that was me personally, I probably would have just even given a heads up in the chat, being like, yo, guys, this whole situation's hilarious. Like, yeah. I'm going to go on Instagram and fucking say something. But, like, we were literally planning to redo the episode. I was the one that wanted it out. Yeah. He didn't want it out. And then he just kind of, Dude. like, it just kind of showed me, like, I don't know. I just think he, he tries to act a bit like he's above this whole like social media shit. And like, I don't know, just the way he acted was kind of like, I see what like you're a saying. social media. Pr- I don't know. Just like blindsiding someone like that when you're on a text thread with them is like, but it's not a big deal to me. I personally think he's fucking, his stand up is fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah, he's so funny. Like I'll watch his clips still, even like after yeah. that whole situation and I'm what? like, they're fucking funny. Like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's he's funny killing it. He's Dude, selling out arenas. Back. Wait, Brad, have you... I just personally think that like, I think the way he handled that whole situation was just like. Well, we gotta get you back on. I want him back on too, dude. I think he's a funny guy, honestly. But he's I think so I think it's just also funny how he didn't go at but also Steve or had, Kyle at all. It but also we've had me. so many guests, and it's like, sure, we could have asked better questions. Yeah. And it, I think he actually did make us better interviewers too. Yeah. Because he kind of made us be more prepared. So I I, I got his point, but I think it's also like. What you did know, he really want us to ask him, you know? Yeah. I see, like, I you're see. not f- Gandhi, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no offense. No, no, like, I'm not, like, what, dude, like, I don't really know. I, that's, I don't really know what he wanted, but. Yeah. And if that was me on an interview, I probably would have just gone with the punches. Or I, I would have just, I wouldn't have called people out like that. But I guess that just shows you the type of, like, guy he is. I think it's also his kind of content, too. Like, he's. Yeah, like, it's like crowd work type shit. It's kind of calling. It's like I see a lot of shit on YouTube now. The like, people are kind of like, I think that situation like kind of looked like Steiny took an L, but I think like a lot. Everyone I talked to was like, damn, he kind of like overreacted and shit. Like, yeah, I, don't, he, I thought it was weird, but I don't think it's that. I serious. really don't fucking care. I don't yeah. care. Right. But you still hearing? But you squabble though, huh? You would squabble. You no, bro. I'm just saying shit. He's fucking tall. <laughs> I bro, I'm fucking. Yeah, I don't around. think you could. I don't know yeah. if you could reach him. No you chance. probably wouldn't have my back, and you probably wouldn't either. So. Bro, I'd have your back. I'm, I'm a lone wolf in these streets, bro. Gabe, back, Gabe would honestly probably be the only one to slide for me. I will hold your you hand. You guys we'll should, we should sell tickets for that. Oh. Dude, I'm not fighting that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> would you? You'd be like a little guy like holding his fucking leg like this. Yo, I knocked like you out. Like this time. 
Stiney, would you would you want to? This guy out, box? he's talking shit. Stiney, so crazy. Well, I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, prepare. I'll do it any day. I'll All right, let's prepare again. Out. Huh? Let's do it again. Whenever you want, bro. Let's do it. Oh, oh what was Stiney? Oh, Salim, would you would you box Salim? No, <laughs> Salim's athletic. <laughs> Salim Wait, sucked. So, okay, so I want to switch. Can I switch it up? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Are you dating uh, this overtime girl? No. Is that okay if I say that? Back to the Megan. clips. <laughs> no, I, like I saw it. I just look. I was. I was like, I could say this because it's only like, fuck it. Yeah, it's in Are you? Nah. It looked like it. I was like, damn. Because nah, you we're just, go to we're the... just friends. Oh, would they make a good couple? Do you think? I mean, I think they. they I, I don't want to speak too much, but I think they look cool together. Yeah, definitely look good. So, She's a cool girl. She's an amazing. So girl. after She's the cool. UFC event, some kid came up to me. He's like, uh, Kyle and Meg look cute together. This should be a good couple. Yeah. Like, I, he basically, like, rated it. <laughs> where, where are you at? That's amazing, Anna. Thank you for trying to. <laughs> what? I mean, where, where are you <laughs> no, at? This is hilarious. One fan cute. Where are you at with that? Like, in your life right now? Are you, like, are you in? Like, do you want that kind of shit? I don't, because it's just, like, it's so much, it's so much obligation. Yeah. I mean, you only have 24 hours in your day. It's real. Oh, my God. A girl's a whole other right job. Now. I always say it's a big year, but it is. Every year, the stakes are higher. There's more pressure. And it's, like, if you have 24 hours in a day... You gotta spend rightfully so. How many of those hours on a girl? Yeah, and, and eight of those hours. And also, sleeping. I think yeah, like rightfully so, right? I don't know, six hours on the girl. And then yeah. also, I think what we're doing now, like, I don't want to have to worry about if I'm like, when I was in a relationship before, it's like, oh, you're standing too close to this girl at the club, or like, we're doing Snapchat now too, and like, you gotta have girls in the content. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm just not done with this whole yeah. lifestyle yeah, yet. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. Yeah. And that's respectable too, because like you're, yeah. you're willingly knowing that you're not going to put someone in a position where they. Or can. even this, like, I don't want to have to worry about what I say. Because mm-hmm. yeah. then your girl's going to ream you out too and be like, yo, why the fuck did you say that? Yeah, like, 100%. But also especially too, if it's a public relationship, because yeah, yeah. then they get comments. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, Kyle said this on the pod, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. That's why. Do you, fuck that shit. Do you ever dude. keep your relationship? Like, do you always I've keep kept your, all my shit offline? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's yeah, the best. Brad moves like a fucking mob boss, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, I silence. do that too, though. I don't like to do that. You do that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. What do you mean? What? You post every female line. You Snapchat. I'm with this girl here in the beach. <laughs> She's fucking like they're laying down their ass up. The Latinas, the Latinas, that. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just like keep it all off. For me, it's like I don't want to do because I know what that is. That lifestyle of like exactly what you said, dealing with people being like. What about this? What about that? And it's just like, dude, I don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah. Do you have any celebrity crushes, Stiney? Like, What's up? Any celebrity crushes? Uh, probably Livy Dunn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you know she her? follow you back yet or no? Mm. Nah. No. She's a <laughs> LSU. I saw you, I saw you liking her photos the other she's day. She's an LSU gymnast. Yeah, she's too busy. She's too busy. I saw uh, you liking her photos the other day. Well, you're on the same fucking page then. Yeah, but he actually... Oh, yeah, I looked. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, what? Yeah. She's She crushes the tumble. Yeah. yeah. She's like, her gym is shit. Yeah, sick. But you chose you chose Team Brecky though. Once you go Team Brecky, you know. all day. I'm Team Brecky all day. Dude. Brecky Wait, so is Olivia or Brecky then? Sorry, but Brecky all day. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fair. She's coming to Miami, right? Yeah, for one day. You can do one night with Sydney with her. Bro, again? we should do it again. Let's talk about Miami and LA though. Switch up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's talk about that. No. So which what's better? Miami. Ah, hundred percent. I don't know. This Miami. guy's too fucking. I, I only I only really like Miami for the weather. Because it's beautiful every it's day. It's fucking gorgeous. LA, the weather's kind of shitty sometimes. Of it's a lot of clouds. But uh, I'm not as motivated in Miami as I am in California. <laughs> He's been going you, out every day. It depends, depends what you're doing. I think that like it depends who you're working with and shit like that too. Yeah. Miami doesn't have that hustle fucking gotta grind to make it. It's like everyone here just like has like some money from like fucking crypto or like it's all these like young kids that have a lot of bread. I don't understand it. Or old people that moved here with their money. Retired, yeah. There's no like, like well, Brad, that. I mean, for you, it's different. You have the gym there. So right. you have something that's actually beneficial for you there, right? Right, to be there. So yeah. that's different. Like, but you, you have, have s- like a whole content kind of operation there too, where people yeah. are coming to do content. So that wouldn't make sense for you. But for us, it's like, we're not really working with too many people in LA yeah. anymore. That, the only reason LA is dope is because everyone's there. Right? That's exactly yeah. why I'm there. So, yeah. so if... For us, if there's no one there to work with, I mean, Miami's here, we're so fucking plugged up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, for nightlife. Nightlife, for restaurants, for fucking, yeah. I'm friends with the mayor. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. like, we're friends with the mayor. I still got a key. It's so sick. Yeah, you oh, still, yeah. What I are you doing it. with your key? I changed the locks, though. I told him to change the locks, but. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> you still have your key? Of course, bro. That's I got dope. it in my safe. I so, love that thing. It's dope. <laughs> yeah, that was no, a big moment. I guess anyone gets one. 
Shout out to Full Send for that because you guys you plugged me in that one. Nice. Oh, wait, but do you have a studio? You you do you shoot like your your podcast in Miami too, right? I just have I have mobile and I just go wherever. Oh, I think okay. everyone's moving. A lot of people are starting to move here though. Yeah, because yeah, way better LA's for taxes. Done. I think yeah, this is going to be the no one's moving to Texas though. I don't think. No, he said better oh. for taxes. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Houses too. Houses too. I think everyone's starting to drift over here though. You're realizing. You think in like a couple years it'd be like more of like what LA was? Two years. I, I two give years? it two years. I give it two years. Mm. Yeah, I know people still go to LA though, man. Because it's such you a know why up. it's closer to Vegas. Yeah, Vegas is becoming a thing now yeah, too. Yeah, Vegas yeah. is big. Because like, because Vegas, they they they, they bought all. That's the what teams I liked out. about Cali too. Is closer to Vegas. Yeah. Get into Vegas. Not now. just it's UFC. Fun. They have now they're, they're gonna have baseball soon uh, team, and then they have football, and then they have hockey. Yeah, they took everything from Oakland. Yeah, and then also they're planning to expand uh, a basketball team there too, in in Vegas. Yo, did you guys see this? Remind me. Remember this? You just reminded me of this Oakland thing. Did you see that the first In-N-Out ever closed in Oakland? Like, In-N-Out's never closed oh, anywhere. because there was a lot of crime there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they they should have left. Like, dude, Oakland's lost all their sports teams. California's in-N-Out, in-N-Out. a f- shithole. That's well, what made no, me no, hate. Northern California. No. Some Are you joking? LA's a shithole. San Diego yeah, yeah. has a serious oh, so homeless problem. Nice. His car just got fucked. fucking car got robbed, bro. Yeah, wait, San wait, Diego? In LA. No, in LA. Off oh, the yeah, in yeah, Melrose. In Melrose. Well, so what, what happened? How crazy yeah, yeah, is what that? Uh, I didn't tell that story. I Dude, that. I was doing a stream with Steve and I was inside of wherever store we were and I walked out. Wait, I was there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Were there. It was that day? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Holy fuck. So well, like he, left, he left his car there overnight too. Oh. But still. Still. No, I didn't leave it on Melrose. It was near there. Okay. Yeah, I woke up. It was I left. I have an app tracker. Yeah. And uh, I saw it was in South Central. So did you pull up? Just pulled up straight there. You didn't he did. Up. He I, did. I, he I, calls I, the cops. I like, yeah. no. He called me. I'll tell you what out. happened too. I called LAPD. They didn't show up. Called fucking billionaire mm-hmm. burger boys, and there was five of his people waiting outside the house. That's act. That probably said, you probably really did that. I swear to God. So yeah. like it's cool because like Compton people there actually had my back and they were there yeah. at the car really? and, and LAPD was like an hour and a half, like, you know? Yeah, Wait, course. But shit happens and-, and Did what they show they do? up? what they do? They took- They, they, they stripped jacked, the whole thing. They jacked your car and everything? They, they took his car and stripped it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, why? Because I saw what, pictures. What car, I, the front I, I was know. fucked. What car was it? Uh, nice BMW. Nice BMW. Okay, okay. What a fucking business to be in that. <laughs> yeah, stripping cars. Cool. Yeah, I guess that was another reason to leave LA. Mm. So yeah, move to Miami now. You have a reason. But Stan is type of guy as well. He likes to like just go around. He doesn't like to there's, get a house. There's nothing wrong with that though. It's amazing, but like, dude, I've been, are you gonna get a house here? I don't know. I've been fucking. I don't, dude. To be honest, for the last four years of my life, I haven't had a like home, and you get used to being on the road all the time. Mm. And he loves and hotels. Like he loves Airbnbs. That's fine. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I mean, Stani, I Stani works with a lot of people in LA too. So yeah. obviously he's got to spend time. And plus, if he wants have, to spend time in LA. Let him spend time in LA. Yeah. Plus, you have friends. Gabe there always too, gets right? butt hurt when you're not fucking like doing the same shit as us too. No, oh. I don't. I don't at all. Like, like, Stani loves to go to LA and shit. I'm like, well, yeah, he does. I think it's like a, like a little love thing going on there. No, because Stani's like, he's so bipolar. He's my like, oh my god, now I don't have a house right now. Like, bro, you never in the house. And you don't do enough of like, you gotta do more beta shit. What do you mean? Like if I come home, you gotta be cooking and shit, cleaning my room. Like you gotta, be, you don't do that shit. I need Not to for you. Session. Huh? The therapy session, right? I now. know. It's like you know, keep it going. This is good. No, it's like for me, it's like Steiny. He and always also, complains about there's no wait, one relationship. At a time, one at a time. This is yeah, a, I'm talking about a friendship. Boy, you're using lab mics, right? Doctor Ma- Doctor Martin. One at a time. Go ahead. What's the beef? Because for me, Stein is like, dude, there's really... no possible oh, way man, of this bro, ever can, happening. It's I don't know. It's like a married couple shit. Let them go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And sweet. I, the beta shit just... was just a thing that I'm telling you for your future relationship. Like, you got to be the girl, bro. I, uh, why? Because I see the guys that you go for and they're like, big Johnny Mantel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do like, <laughs> tell them to come on <laughs> through. Answer him. I feel like you do like, I feel like you like buff guys. Why? Not you, Dr. John. Bro. Yo, we're just doing, we're just doing a pod. We're just doing a pod right now. Oh, you're good. Call me yeah. later. All right, bro. I'm in Miami. All right, buddy. He's in Miami. Stein is not, definitely not the going, call you want to get on a Friday. Stein is definitely going out. <laughs> yeah, probably now. Yo, it's I mean, day. whatever. I'll, I'll have a good time with him. You should come too. When tonight? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh, so you gotta stay dialed in. You gotta stay dialed I'm in. Dialed, always work. So wait, where were we at? Oh, yeah. the therapy session. So I'm saying that okay, <laughs> Stein is really bipolar. But let him finish though. For not real. bipolar. No, 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 Tiny, let him talk, let him talk. Sometimes he's like, oh, it really happened, and he's making an amazing. Thing. He complains, oh my god, I don't have a house. You guys moved to. To, to Miami, now what the fuck I gonna do? Don't worry about it, I'm gonna get an amazing crib. Two days later, fuck this, I'm moving to LA, I'm moving this. And he never goes nowhere, and he complains about every single thing. I don't complain. How many times do I have to change a flight for Stine's, you? Stiney's, you're really good at playing victim. 
Yes, it's our zero fault. <laughs> oh, that's insane. You're yes. going to put victim on me? Here we go. Hey, that's his words. It's our zero fault. I'm not even going to say nothing. And though. he calls me the drama queen. I'm the drama queen. But like, how many times I have to show the text message for you, for you, for you, for Kyle? And who's making the drama? You. Somehow it's my fault all the time. Mm, okay. I try to take care of him, but it's just like really hard to take care of Snyder. Dude, I don't need you to take care of me, to be honest. Okay. All right. I'll remember that. that. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's hear okay, your Okay, so what do you guys say? Right. It's your turn. I don't need a fucking... I don't need shit, bro. I don't need a <laughs> guy to <laughs> look out for me, bro. I got me, I got my girl, and I'm focused on my shit. What girl you got? They yeah. have some alpha shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm in the gym. Don't worry about it. I'm doing my shit. Stay dialed. Stay in dad's yeah. house? Huh? Stay in dad's house? <laughs> Where I stay doesn't concern you, bro. <laughs> Straight up. Where I stay does not concern you, man. But yeah. I'm on my own time right now. My own boss. I respect how's your, that. How's yeah. your, Amazing. How's your relationship, though? Like, With who? You, got, you said you have a girlfriend, no? Uh, I'm kind of like. He has a main thing. Okay. Main thing. That's good. Yeah, you guys stay it's nice. I mean, it's nice like to have. I met her. She was cool. Doing She's really nice. Cool. What else happened? What else happened? The little 7 Eleven story. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. This this is true. This is true. I, I did I did respect this. Um, you know, I, I I just personally I like a woman that you know if you're dating her, it, obviously you got to be doing things for her. Of course. And she's she's doing nice things for you, like getting you stuff and let, allowing you to sit and chill. She went and got you a drink. I saw this in real time. I was like, wow, I didn't think Stani had that in him. He was like, go get me a drink from the store. She's like, which one do you want? It was. Nice. I respected it. What you guys were? We were at the SLS. See, that's the shit oh, you okay. should be doing for me. <laughs> Wait, but why though? You just he's the assistant. Yeah, he's that's the assistant, his role. Though. Oh, Stein's assistant. Oh no, 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 I'm just saying you're okay. Yeah. Soon yeah. yeah. I know gonna be asking you to do shit. No, no, no he's not. Like, oh, no, dude, I, just I don't have all an ego. My stomach, grab me a tissue. But um, oh, um, Stein, where were you in Toronto last weekend? How come you didn't show up? <laughs> There was, there, was two seats, so funny, there was two no, seats there for no, Aaron no, Stiney. I didn't want to, oh, that was sick, but I didn't want to go to Toronto for just one day, to be honest. Oh, shit. Stiney is more like a local United States trip, like the international. So wait, wait, wait. Like you, to step up, to you, step you like to spend eight hours in Brazil, but you can't stay a day in Toronto? Yeah. Guess how much you got paid for a Brazil trip? That's 3K? Why. 3K? 10K. 20. Okay, okay. That's why he went to Brazil. Yeah, but still, you get second row of seats to the UFC fight, and... It's not that, dude. We, you could have met Drizzy. To, we go to every single UFC event. You could have met Drizzy, too. I've met him a couple times. I know, but in Toronto? His birthday. Could have been in the video. Fuck, man. <laughs> Missed opportunity. I'll yeah, get him next time, dude. Yo, you know what, though? Because of that... <laughs> because of that, you have... No, no, because of that there. video, somebody made an article, and I got the blue check mark because of that now. Oh, really? Yeah. Congrats. You're welcome to Literally, like, 12 you hours later. For it. No, fuck that. Fuck Meta Verified. Let's go. Dave, spending, Dave's got that Meta Verified. I'm not spending 15 bucks on a, on a fucking blue check every month. Uh, I do. It's enough shit that I gotta pay for, you know? Alright boys, sorry to interrupt the pod, but I gotta tell you about Manscaped. Alright, I don't advertise anything on this pod that I don't actually use, and I fucking love using Manscaped. You ever tried it, Nino, or no? Never. Never? What do you use? Razor. Just like a shitty one? Yeah. Dust. Doesn't that chop up your nuts and shit? Not careful. Yeah, well this you don't have to be careful. Lawnmower 5.0, boys. This thing looks like fucking Elon Musk made it. It's like a fucking Tesla razor. Shit's absolutely fucking beautiful. I use it for my fucking pubes and I use it on my face. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I fucking do it. Is that bad? Kinda, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Just give it a little rinse and shit, no? It's got all the different clips for all the different lengths and stuff like that. You just snap them on. It's really easy to use. I fucking love this razor. It's insane. The thing I love about Manscaped is it's like a one-stop shop for everything, all right? You don't gotta browse around to different sites. They got ball deodorant. Gabe uses that all the time because his sack smells like shit. They got creams, they got butters, they got all the different razors. So go to manscaped.com, boys, because you can't be rocking a bush anymore. You can have like a little bit, you know, sometimes I rock like a mullet or something like that, but you can't be going full bush like Jimmy Gambles. We got a code for you, boys. Use code NELK. It's 20% off the entire site plus free shipping. So that's a hell of a deal. This code's right here for you, boys. Code NELK. Go to Manscaped. Stay fresh, boys. Let's get fucking shredded. Let's pull birds. Gambles, you gotta clean up your bush. Have you used the code yet or no? No, no. I yet. fucking got you a code. I know, I gotta use it soon. Here, take this. Take it home, please. Shave your bush. Right. Your girl will thank me, all right? <laughs> well, is, uh, is Bob Menery coming back to the pod? <laughs> he said he. I don't know what he was saying, but uh, he really wanted Bob to be sitting Menery, there today. Man. Oh, is, is he? So I don't know if no. you guys have some sort of beef or no, like. No, I don't beef. Never I told Bob he, he's welcome to come on. Talk of shit. We wanna do an episode, Bob. You could be on it too if you want. Dana. Yeah. With Dana too. Wow, Dana wants to do that's it. a huge one. But that would be. But bad. Bob's currently still suing me. Really? Yeah, he's suing. He's, he's been suing us. He's oh, trying to sue us. So I told him, "You're not coming on the pod while you're suing me." No. Mr. Menery. 
Because yeah. anything. So he, he keeps saying he's gonna drop it. He's gonna drop <laughs> it. Oh my <laughs> god! Look at his eyes. What the heck? Like Stein. Dana White and Milk Boys discuss Bob Mettery committing biggest bag fumble ever by the Literally. 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 And a fucking title. Yo yo yo! I love that Bradley, guy. Bradley. As a as a as biggest a bag. character, he's the funniest guy. He's hilarious. Ever. But look at those eyes. Though. Dude, it's I'd like, love to. I'd love to like have him as the sixth person right there on the pod, and he could jump on internals. I think we should make these internals the craziest. We should just get a bunch of characters on here, bro. Oh, it's and I have therapy like session? six to seven people on here. Go That's crazy. crazy. And just have these labs. Yeah. So Because like, it's for me now, it's like, we've done everyone one thing. Yeah, yeah. And then also like, I feel like people care more about what we have to say than like yeah. some of the people we're interviewing. Yeah. I see what you're like, saying. Like we're a bigger name than 75% of the people that we interview. And, and, and I think too, just the whole culture on the internet has just completely shifted. I think obviously like talking to people who are notable and getting their information on like what they think about things is like super dope and beneficial. But I feel like most people are, I don't know, like people are just really picking sort of like the creators and picking the content and they're more invested in that. Like you said, what they're thinking, yeah. what they're, where they're at. You also, you also have to get somebody that ha like, uh, isn't often like on podcasts, haven't heard their stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it can't. Yeah, because everyone's when they come come on our podcast, they're gonna go do three other yeah, ones. Yeah, because they're always promoting something. So and I think that initial wave of uh, podcasting is kind of like every like when did it really pop off? Like two years ago? Like three at least. Two podcasts, yes. podcasts are huge. Yeah. Yeah. I think with this, we should uh, we should make these internals just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I have fun doing this shit, man. Yeah. I is there anything it. else you need to bring up or you want to talk about? What? Something specific? Just yeah. Just in life? Well, yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah, is there something you want to say? Crazy. No, like yeah. something like a beef. Something like you got beef to settle. What are you gonna say? Just no, say I don't have yeah, beef with you, bro. Just, just ask him. You gotta say something. Nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I feel like you have something you want to say. No, I'm chilling. I don't know. <laughs> this guy is How the most was, uh, You guys, guy you guys ever, have been dude. hanging with Vitaly. Oh, bro. I like Vitaly. I love Vitaly. How is he? I love Vitaly too. I'm glad he came back on a in a different way. Wait, what? How long ago was it when you fought him at the UFC event? Oh, well, boxing. No, it wasn't. That was Logan. And that, that was Logan. Logan. I was right there. That Vitaly was crazy. Vitaly also said he punches like a bitch. He did bro, say that. Bro, hold on. Tell, that, tell that, that he said that. No, he did Vitaly say that. Vitaly did not want the smoke that night. He said it yesterday. So, so like, what happened oh, again? He punched like a pillow. It felt like a pillow. Okay, because I'll I'll be honest with you. And I've talked about it before. You don't have I, to defend yourself. I'm not defending myself. I just want to make sure you want to hit the guy because like I've been friends with the guy for many years. Yeah. He's an OG, and I've done tons. I've done trips with him. I've done a bunch of shit with him. It was more like I didn't want this to happen, and I felt like because it happened, I just had to like do something. Yeah, that was so long ago. Yeah, yeah. but but you started it obviously. And then, so yeah, no, so I, I never had issue. How how's Vitaly doing? Is he like? Ha, do you think that is this like a big Vitaly comeback? I think he's. I think so. Fucking really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you so, remember? What, did well, you, we, I watched yesterday the. Uh, I don't the really watch Kick. I watched. I, I watched. How was that? I, I just rely on the clips. It was amazing, bro. He fucking. Did he actually do something? Like, they find was it? like, dude. You, well, got, what I did is I yeah. connected it to the TV, like screen mirrored it, okay. and it's like just watching Aiden and Vitaly, and like also it's like it's not oh, yeah. super organized. So, so it's what, like, what they did live. yesterday? See, I really we need another platform because like just the live streaming thing is so it's so short lived, right? It's yeah. hectic. Yeah, it's very. Well, but like like Aiden said too, you do it and then it's gone for like no one. So really, fast. Nah, you know Aiden I mean? and Vitaly were Well, I think hilarious. this is pushing the clip thing even further, where things are just more <laughs> clip-based. Because a lot of people do things just for clips. Like, we were talking I about that. I wish there was, there was like, a kick, like, like, kick was, like, Twitch's competitor. I, we need, like, a YouTube, like, someone to do it properly. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I think they're going to start having people upload videos to kick. Yeah, see, I was thinking that, too. I don't I think, think it makes sense. Do. Why would you do that? Why would they do that? Why would you have vlogs on kick? Because if they wanted to be, like, a real competitor, I Dude, think that's I would something fucking they would do. Dude, I fucking love that, bro. But do I you think, think they would? I'll but fucking move. I'll fucking move over. A hundred percent. But do you think that they'd want to do that? Why not? They it's should. Like you could still have a live section, just like YouTube has a live section, and then you have a whole video. Yeah. Archive. And then I think Kick's probably gonna and take the, the idea of did. shorts. They go probably make Dude, a I would, short I would love now. that actually, because yeah. you can do yeah. anything on Kick. Yeah. I'm sure Eddie, if you're hearing this, I'm sure he's probably thinking about this already. They're probably trying. They to should do it. Out. Should be X or fucking Kick. X. Yeah. Throw our whole squad a fucking bag, bro, and we'll bring bring back Nelk, Steve, Brad. Go crazy. Fucking call MTV Jesse too. Damn. We'll fucking film oh, an episode once a week. Speaking of that, like, um, we should that? do that. You remember when you saw him in That's LA? You said sorry. you're gonna have a whole like. Yeah, well, the thing is, we need Steve in it, and we yeah. can't yeah. do it on YouTube. We can't yeah. have a Nelk reunion without Steve. True. So and is he never gonna get back on YouTube? Like, what the fuck is the actual deal? I have no idea. He's Who been knows, pleading. Right? He's like pleading to like the CEO, like, Bro, please put me let back. Let him on YouTube. I think, I think, I think they will. Let him on YouTube. I think it'd be a smart move by YouTube. Maybe he's like on a three-year ban or something. He'd probably put like a ban like a year. I don't think. No, I'm just saying. You know. I don't know if they'll reinstate his channel. 
But I think let him be. I think I think it'd be a pretty cool moment for YouTube to be like fucking nuts that they deleted his channel, obviously. But the fact that they won't even let him be in other people's videos is like like that's crazy. But regardless, I mean, yeah, we need Steve. It's not the same with him. It's never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just not. At the UFC (laughs) event, they were were shouting, uh, chanting Trudeau at the press conference and at the UFC. That was crazy. Yeah, (laughs) that is so hilarious, man. Yo, it was funny though. I heard that shit. It was so funny. I'm like, fuck Trudeau. Yeah, you can hear from the nosebleeds. They were it's yelling. You're, Fuck Trudeau. Yeah, you're obviously Canadian. You're Canadian. How Dude, do you guys how, feel about it? How uncomfortable does Trudeau have to feel? Do you guys meet? see what Tucker's doing in Canada? Bro, he's trying to liberate. That dude is he's a fucking ballsy, superstar. Bro. I didn't see what he's doing. Well, tell us. What's he doing? He he's went to, to Canada and he, like, I don't know, I guess he called Justin Trudeau's office and, like, left a message saying yeah. he's coming to, like, liberate Canada. Yeah, I'm liberating Canada. Just, like, he's going there and doing a bunch of, like, rallies and shit. Yeah. Because if you notice, Joe Rogan hasn't been to any Canadian UFC events in Vancouver and Toronto. I think he doesn't like to travel. I think he just doesn't fuck with Canada anymore like that. Because he said on podcasts before, like, f*** you know, like the Canadian government is just absolutely fucked. He doesn't go to any really international ones. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, he normally does, like, he'll do the fight campaign okay. and then stay home. I see yeah. that. But he has a reason not to go to Canada because of fucking Trudeau. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I mean, how do you, is that going to ever change or is that Well, just he has worse? two years left in his uh, campaign because he, he spent $650 million on a campaign to be reelected. $650 million. How can you oh, spend that all money for you to tax his money on? Canada's, it's scary, bro. I and then you know what's even fucked it's up? It's sad. It's not the same place I grew up. You know what's up. even more sh- fucked up? Dundas Street is like uh, a very well-known street in Toronto. This guy's trying to get clipped up on six buzz. No, they're spending <laughs> $5.2 billion. Guy drops Dundas Street. Yeah, the, 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 the city wants to spend $5.2 billion dollars to so change niche. the name. That's fucking Say that one more time out of here. $5.2 billion to change the street name. To what? To whatever the fuck they want to pick. Cause, why though? Because it was like racist or... But like, it's stupid. $5.2 billion could be used for so many other reasons. Why do you need to spend that much money to change the street name though? It's, it's, fucking, it's such a big street. Yeah, it's a business. There's a lot of businesses, right? Okay, so what? Yeah, that's I know, what, that's that seems, what I'm saying. That sounds fake, but yeah. But that's, that's, that's what I'm crazy. saying, though. Like, whatever, <laughs> the, whatever, the, whatever the amount is, keep the fucking name. My thing with all this money stuff and, like, government shit, it's like, whose pockets are getting filled? No, no, what would you this? say to Trudeau if you could see him in person? Fuck Trudeau. No, no, yeah. I would say Like, what if he walked in right now? What would you say to him? He'd be like, oh my god, nice to meet you. No. <laughs> no. You would, yeah. yeah you would Can do, I have a photo? You'd do a photo shoot for sure. You can the Canadian fans. Look in the camera. What would you say to Trudeau? I don't like what you're doing with this country. Straight up. I'm not going to be like, there's other people that are absolutely savages, like yelling in his face and everything, but I'll just be like straight up. Like, I don't like how you run in this country, man. Yeah. What do you do different though? I, I'm not a politician, but I am not the guy to ask how to run this country. I'm not. Who wrote, who wrote on the sheet, Bryce Hall is being liked again? Um, no? Well, that's true though. I okay, like it. It's, it's true though. I know, it's just such a random topic. Yeah, no, that's so random. <laughs> Gambles. Yeah. That's stupid. We have it a is. sheet now that Gambles and Clip Zeus are going to fucking write topics on. So, yeah, that's just look. to help us. And um, one of them is Bryce Hall being liked again. Dude, he it's is. Have you seen a lot? I've always liked a, Bryce Hall. Yeah, Once he started too. fighting, everyone was like, oh shit, it's real. That's he's being so like, funny. His photos have been more hot again, like showing his muscles and stuff. Oh, okay. Bryce has always been jokes, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta met him. I haven't, I haven't met him yet. He's a cool guy. What's this about? Deep fake images of Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring this up. The AI images are crazy. Oh, of her in the KC paint. So what, we get T Swift AI nudes? Yeah, it's crazy AI, as shit. AI. It's fake as fuck, but it's like. But it's. It is a kind of a weird thing to figure out. Like, just, just show the photo. You gotta go to, go to Google Images. Oh, wow. Judd, is this yeah. your computer? Little AI rack? Can you show us history? <laughs> oh. Probably some <laughs> yeah. scary what shit on there. You wanna see my history? Dude, show your history. No, I, remember, uh, I remember one time I was like, I, was, I know, would, awful. You, would you jerk to AI nudes or no? It's not real. What if you thought it was though? Do your research. Good point. You definitely <laughs> would jerk off, I know. I, I remember, I remember that I was, I was wait, like, are you, wait, 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 speaking of, are you still on your fucking beating off hiatus? I don't do it, bro. You're so how long has it been? been almost, like, almost a little more than two years. There's how? no fucking way. You, if you, you have ro- if, no, you're, sorry, if, not roid ro- ro- rage. But <laughs> beating off hiatus. If you get pissed off, that's a good way to release that anger yeah, like i don't my mind's not even there so how do you release anger training working out doing other shit you've never Touch thought you too. you've never <laughs> thought about just rubbing one out dude i just i don't want to go back to it i don't want to go back to it yeah it's an all. addiction it's a bad yeah i don't yeah. need that shit yeah you don't need it no one needs that shit <laughs> you feel differently about that huh well I I'm, I'm a once a day kind of guy max yeah i get it yeah oh, come well, on. remember what i told you but yeah, way yeah. i had like i yeah. did it too much dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were going right hand left hand spitting some crazy shit huh i mean vibrator everything vibrator what? you told me you spit on your own dick 
What the heck? What, dude? What? I'm sorry. I never told you that. Oh, I thought you did. That was somebody else. It saves a lot of time beating off two when you're single, too. Because, like, sometimes I want to get a chick over so bad. And I'm, like, thinking about it. I'm, like, all right, I'm going to get her over. Like, I'm going to have to go take her out to dinner. And then I just beat off. I'm, like, oh, thank God. I just saved so save much money, time. Yeah. Save, save money, save money, time, save and time. Go to bed earlier, wake up for the gym. Every time I think about flying a guy over or something like this, you told me this. Gabe, just go to bed and jerk off and just yeah. like, think about it. He was like, I'll help you. Well, he's talking about flying guys from like fucking do you ever Ireland. Actually, do you ever post not think like, oh, fuck. Like, I wish I actually didn't do that. No. No. You're always like, damn, I'm good. Yeah. I know. Save some money. It's always the wrong head thinking, right? Saves a lot of time. Save time, money. No, no, what is sad is hanging out with chicks too. It's never. It's always something. They always want to like. They they want to be taken care of. it and fucking like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Unless they're coming straight over to chill, it's different. But like take them out to dinner. And yeah, I remember those days. And I want to have wine and shit. Like I don't. Why wanna not? Fucking drink. I want somebody like this. I think like what I told myself for Miami this year. I want to find somebody here. You got to stop being needy. I already told you that. Yeah, I have this problem. Like I'm really needy in terms of like I like to text. I'm over texting. Clingy, a lot. you're clingy. I over text a lot, and I kind of learned that. But like I want to get do you somebody. Mean by over like, Gabe, Gabe actually texts? having like a legit boyfriend would be kind of weird. I though. want a boyfriend so I don't know bad this year. I don't know. But about wait, that. what do you look like? Let's keep, let's keep okay. stuff professional. I don't know about boyfriend. You get a little offensive when we talk about Gabe. Yes, he loves that. No, I just think it's professional to like not have. How about your girlfriend that was here on the brainstorm session the other day? She's doing her thing, dude. She's not being annoying and fucking doing weird shit. You why you think tension for real? Why you think my boyfriend would be doing weird shit? Yeah, that was a little, little that's a little, side. That's a little blindside. What do you mean? We're supposed to have a serious brainstorm session, like planning content for 2024. Stani pulls up with his chick to the meeting. We're like, all right. You had you had fucking OT. Here. Yeah, because you told me to bring her out for the that, pod. His house too. He can bring whatever he wants here. Okay, my bad, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, it's different. Jesus, bro. I can't do it. But yeah, I want a boyfriend, and I think it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm sure the fucking applications know. are flying through, huh? Well, the DMs are getting, getting crazy. What's the actually, qualification, then? What are you looking for? Can I just ask you, how do you, how do you go through and know, like, okay, this guy's intention is to come and hang out with Nelk, and then this He's asking hard. for a friend. He's asking for a friend. I think it's, it's the hard. same way we do it, probably. Yeah, but we know what's good. Girls are different. Girls, like, if you have a girl that's different, like, you're gonna do it, but, like, guys, I gotta figure it out first. I have two things to figure out. If he's actually gay, or he's just doing just for clout. So, so I have to figure out two things. Just for clout? Well, yes. What the fuck? They think, they, they I mean, a lot of girls gay. will hang out with us just to, just, just to, to be around, and then... Yeah, of course. They yeah. fake being gay, you should be around, and, like, later on, I don't get nothing of it, and so they've been, they've been faking being gay for the past Bro, that's so six weird. Because there is a lot of guys that's, that's like, already. like, we get a lot of DMs from guys when we're, like, going out somewhere, we're hosting an event. They're probably like, yo, let's just DM Gabe. Yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. All the time. <laughs> he gets I finesse DM, all the time. I have no response. I DM Stein and they're like, yeah. yo, just DM Gabe and fucking flirt with him. Last resort like, too is even we'll me. There's two ways. It's like, yo, DM, uh, yep. DM Jimmy and tell him you've got bag or DM fucking Gabe. <laughs> yeah, yo, say, yo. Brad, even people DM me like, can you say get in gay. contact with Kyle for me? Like, I'm like, I'm not, like, why? <laughs> Both like, work just as effectively. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy I, might be more effective. If Gabe doesn't respond, they go to me then as last Yeah, but I, I, need, I need somebody serious. Like, if you're serious about it, I, I'm, I'm like, I need somebody this year. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm in better shape now. My, my life is fucking crazy. Yeah, yes, you're going you're gonna to get a boyfriend when you're, 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 you're looking good now. Yeah. yeah. Before, looking you just better. looked. Self-improvement first. I don't know how the fuck I was getting guys before even. Hey, anything is possible in this world. Jesus Christ. You think Steiny would have to approve of your... Of your boyfriend or no? I like. Dude, I don't care. Do every guy, know? every no. Come on, every guy that I flew over, you, you met all well, of them. The other two, I'm not gonna say nothing. But I'm yeah, it's not. pretty bad. Dude, it's fucking like I don't know where you find these dudes. <laughs> let's tell a story. I mean, is that cool? No, no. Let's just leave it. It's too much. It's, oh. it's actually like insanity. Okay, I'm too much. It's too much. It's too much. No, 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 no. All right, so there's this one guy, dude. No, bro. And he Gabe's like, I'm, I'm with a girl, and uh, he's like, Yo, can we get lunch? Yeah. Him and his. The Date. fan, and then me and my girl. Let's go. Yeah. This is internal 2024 and, uh, internals. I'm like, yeah, dude, sure. I'll fucking come. He's like, please come. And you just see this dude, and I was like, dude, this guy looks weird. Like, I was kind of nervous. And I sit down with him, and the first thing he does is we have, like, this very sweet waitress. Yeah. You're so beautiful. First thing he says when I meet him is he starts hitting on our waitress. Wow. A girl. A girl. Okay. And then... I'm like, yeah, dude, where are you from? And I don't even remember where he's from. He's like, this is the first time I've ever seen a skyscraper. So he'd never been to a city before. So you flew him out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He definitely lives in the and then And then I'm like, yo, I gotta like, I was like, I'm gonna go smoke a hookah. And so I go and get a hookah. 
and I'm just sitting there chilling, and then you just look at Gabe, and it was like, kind of like how you get pissed, like steam coming out of his ears. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? And he's just pacing, licking his lips, pacing, licking his lips. And uh, the guy was swiping on Tinder for chicks. Oh, what the Right fuck? in front of Gabe. Wow. I was like, what the f- That's Gabe all time around. funny, That's bro. Crazy. But I don't get it, like, we did stuff. What Whoa. the f- Dude, the fact that he was swiping on Tinder for chicks is so I just don't get it. Was he I just bisexual? don't get it. I was like, you know what? Get the fuck out. That's was he trying to like, Wait, yo- did you, did you slap him? What do you mean? I just picture you doing like a bitch slap. No, no, no. I told like, yo, dude, like, I gotta go to Toronto actually, so like, I gotta, I gotta fly for work. Uh, so wait, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you back home. That's it. Okay. Well, let's talk about this shit that this guy said. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk about some girls right now. Just, yeah, let's do it. You know? So, so, cause yeah, what's this about? I, I read this one thing. It says, how many bodies should a girl have to marry? Which is, I found was interesting. It made me think about this clip. This guy talking about Stephen A. Like, Smith. Judd, Judd just found out his girls, his girl's kill count. That. Yeah, so he That's put that he on wrote. there. <laughs> what is it? He's like, yo, is this okay to marry her now? I don't know. <laughs> he let's wants, see. Let's, he wants to know how many Stephen. He thought you were the only one, huh? Let's see what he, let's see what Steve. So he's talking about what like it's crazy. What Stephen A. is having takes on this now. Yeah, I got it. We got to get out, tat out, body looking fine, everything like that. Got it going on. Too much, me. Too much, cause she knows she. And you're expendable. She could take your lead. A nine. That's a problem too, because you got enough people telling her she's a ten, so half of them acting that way. So he's talking about and a number by of the way, girls. the ones that ain't acting that way still require more from you than what others might. And so you got to be up on your game. That's problematic. Eight. That's ideal, cause that's really, really good looking. She got it going on, but at the same time, there's a level of independence that comes with it, which is never a bad thing until she's so independent that she's making you feel like you need to be more dependent on her than she needs to be on you. So there's too many opportunities and too much time that's wasting away when you're not feeling like that dude. You're feeling like a dude, not that dude. Here's where the strong seven comes in. <laughs> strong seven. Look is why it? she can compete with an eight, but her mentality is not that of an eight. Mm. So she's more appreciative of you wanting her. As a result, she shows an elevated appreciation for you wanting her. It is pretty crazy that Stephen A. Smith is talking about this yeah. kind of shit, considering he's like a sports commentator. I'm, yeah. uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm getting kind of over all these guys trying to tell every other guy, like, yo, this is the, they sit and do this. This is the kind of girl you need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. No, it's we like, had bro, that conversation like, in the gym today. Like, if you're going to sit there and preach, the thing about that is <laughs> they do this. <laughs> the, guy that, the guy that's sitting there preaching, like, dude, you need a girl with zero bodies. She needs to be doing all these things for you. Like, none of those guys actually have that chick. Mm. So they're telling you what you should have, but they're banging the same chicks we are. What, are you saying, are you talking about Andrew Tate? No, I'm just saying like... Well, he's the only one that sits like this. There's a lot of other guys that do that. Who else? Oh, uh, name them. No, I've just seen a lot of guys okay. that do this now. Okay. All like these guys this? on TikTok and shit, that, when they talk about what like... What does this mean? This is, this is vagina, right? No, dude, it's like a hand signal for power or It's something. just signal strength. Oh, yeah. in Brazil we don't do like this. It's but like, I, I don't know. Something. I agree with him with what he's saying, but I do think it's like, dude, I'm, I'm, what do you, how do you feel about that? I just think it's, it's this kind of shit. No, I'm just out. saying like these guys that, yeah, there's too many of these guys telling you what you should have. It's like, dude, it's common sense. You want a chick with less bodies. Yeah. Like, no shit, dude. There's nothing wrong Let with Let me know when you find that. Woman, I mean, no shit. Obviously, a seven's going to be easier to hold down than an eight or a nine. That's fucking. Yeah, and no one's holding down that's, a ten. That's prehistoric. Find shit. me one guy who's holding down a ten right now. A lot of people. Popping people. Like who? Like celebs and shit. Yeah, Pete Davidson's the only guy. Probably Wait, who's, who's he got? Yeah. Probably me. Huh? I don't, keep Probably. Up, I don't keep up with the celebrity dating. Maybe you know. I don't think I've ever No, but, but this is my thing on it. It's yeah, like, I have. It's, it's just become like so much of a talking point, which obviously we're talking about it right now, obviously. So there, there is interest in it because people are interested in hearing this sort of shit. It's just like a lot of this, when we talk about seven, eights, or we're talking about numbers, it's all perspective, right? Like someone could be a seven to someone else, an eight to nine to someone else. Yeah, right? but I think at the end of the day, dude, guys are just trying to get laid. Like no one's really trying to like, dude, I got to, should I go for the 10? And, or well, should I, I think it's should more I take so the eight, like, that's going to bring, it's like, he's, he's talking about locking down a chick. Yeah, this though, is like more so marrying, like, yeah, we dating being, a chick. Yes. Like, are we being with the girl? Seriously. That's what yeah. the whole thing's about, right? Yeah. It's like, I guess the idea is that like. You we, act like you're the guy to give this whole 
No, I'm, I'm just breaking this down. Okay. I'm Break not, it down for us who don't understand yeah, it. For you, you mainly. I think Kyle gets it. He was, you know, chiming in. You're just kind of like... Uh, I see where he's shit. coming from. I don't know what's going on. I know what he's saying. Basically, the whole point here is like... He's, Stiney got his girl fucked by someone that was sitting like this. <laughs> he's like... He's in, his, he's in his room this morning being like, listen here. Yeah. This is what we're Have gonna you never do seen today. how people, guys do that? No. I never seen that I just... I've seen Tate do that. I've seen Tate pictures. only do this. No, I like what he does it too. It's jokes. I like what he's doing that. He's a trendsetter. Okay, I don't know. Maybe that was a bad. Yeah, I've seen that before. But, that, but it's that was like a bad take. <laughs> I think this is like people just worrying about the things that they shouldn't necessarily be straight worried about. Because all this comes down to is like, at, like all the things he's saying is in relationship to like, what are you doing as a guy, right? Because mm. that's way more important. Yeah. Like, are you doing something that you're like trying to build a fucking business or a brand? Like, are you doing things that are going to make you sought after? You should focus on that. And yeah. Not just fucking. That's a good point. Is this chick like? A seven or eight or whatever like you have to have perhaps your own qualifications to even get the eight or nine exactly and so when we start talking about this like most people listen to this and they're like getting in their heads about oh i can't think this girl she's too hot but it's like just focus on your shit build your business build your life and those girls that you want to stick around are going to stick around because you're, you're building yourself up yeah like that's why you have the opportunities you I have agree. that's why you have the, those girls that you want right it's because you spent time trying to be good on yourself thank you bro that was Fair actually enough. really good Oh. No, I'm not even trolling. trolling. I'm not. That was oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Are you, are you a, are you a dating expert or something? No, no, no. Brad just, loves deep talk. I'm just fucking, that. I'm fucking old. Brad though. understands, understands women though. Yeah, experience. I do. You have experience. I do. Yeah, I mean, you, I, we've been around. I mean, no, I've, I've seen around. some crazy shit I've at your crib. Around. Like you actually inspired me one time when I stayed at your house. What was it? Just you walk out of your room in a robe and some smoke shows in the kitchen cooking and just places a breakfast plate right in front of you. Yeah. No words. Yeah. Have you, has that happened to you before? No, I've watched it happen. Oh, I was like, geez. how the fuck do I get that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wheeling with Brad is jokes. Yeah, Brad is a, he's a good wingman, no? It's fun, it's fun. But, but anyways, like... He's there, then he's just fucking gone. Yeah. <laughs> like, quick. Like he Batman, doesn't stay for the out. party. Like, yeah, quick in and out. Yeah. I think you gotta be that way. What? Well, oh, yeah. Do you do, like... Do you ever say bye to people? Like, or are you just like, if there's too I'm many so people? I'm so bad at saying bye. Uh, yeah, I always hit the Irish exit. Right? Irish exit is the absolute. You're not going to say bye if you're going to go It only depends, the though. It only I mastered depends. the Irish exit that. like the last yeah, six you're really months. Good. It's, it's so if, fucking if there's dope. too many it's people. The it's the best, bro. You just dip. Don't say bye to anyone. It, like, it's well, so Because also, if you, if you go say bye to people, they're going to try and get you to stay. Yeah. yeah. So you got to just, depends on the just dip. Everyone texts you after. It's so jokes. Like, where'd you go? Where'd you yeah. go? I went home. You're like, yo, I'm in bed, bro. <laughs> I, think, I think Jimmy does that all the time. No? No, Jimmy's yeah. the best. I think he uh, blacks out. That's why. I was just the after. You know what's bad? Right? Yeah. If this yeah. guy takes his shirt off, that's when you know, like, this guy's super drunk. He's like un- unconscious. Jimmy's the best on bullshitting people so good. Something that. Yeah, he trolls. Easier, Kai, we've been good on that too. Is like, people are like, yo, let's do this. Let's do this. Like, yeah, of course, I'll be there, man. Yeah. This it's guy so easy, too. bro. Yo, but I forgot. I wanted to finish on the Vitaly shit. So, yeah, what do you, yeah. like? What is? Do you think he's gonna make like a real? I I really think so because he, yeah, you can just do. I don't want to get too into it, but I will say like you can tell by someone's energy like that guy's. Well, Vitaly's also always been dedicated to this. Yeah, he's always been a I was fucking like, like grinder, right? Yeah, yeah. But and I guess he, he just didn't have a platform. Yeah, to no, like do it on anymore. He's gonna right? crush. But it, now man. that kick is around. Yeah, it's cool to see see him make a huge comeback yeah and he's creative he's fucking yeah he had some idea about going to the border what was it he's gonna go to the border and like i guess do that guy knows how to go viral yeah oh yeah like vitaly he's Vitaly was was fucking wait what was his idea of going to the border he he wants to go to the border in texas and and uh bring like a hot chip and like give it to like he wants to do a the hot chip challenge on the other side of the border like at the border or something and, and, bring, and with the immigrants, it's kind of funny. Yeah. And bring like a, he's, he's like said something about bringing like a mechanical alligator or something and putting it in the water if like they're in the water. I don't know, some crazy shit. That's funny. He has a lot of good ideas. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, wild. Vitaly was my main. He was not scared of nothing, right? My main, like one of my main inspirations yeah. for pranks. Yeah. He's an OG. Dude. He was like, I, Vitaly was my favorite, bro. Do you remember that clip? All the, do you even lift? Yeah. Bro, like, just like he it. was the funniest fucking Yeah. Troll. He doesn't have boundaries. That's the thing Vitaly, about him right? that in, that I know he'll be successful if he just continues and doesn't stop. Which, which, that's what he's good at. That's true. With I think, I think YouTube was just suppressing him, and I think yeah. when he went into the whole thing, yeah, yeah. he was wa- uh, he was the, washed. Vitaly uncensored. Yeah, YouTube kind of fucked his channel because, so yeah, they don't want none of that. Yeah, yeah. they don't want none of that. I think so. the funniest clip is when they did hitting bongs in lectures. He's like, I need a lighter, and then Kyle's like, I got a lighter, and then he just goes up to him, and some Asian kid just got you so seen scared. That one, right? Yeah, he's an OG. The can Asian guy that? right beside him got so scared, you just ran out the door. Huh? Have you seen yeah, that? You're like, yeah, yo, yeah. can I clear that for yeah. you? Yeah. yeah, and then he trips over the guy's uh, Vitaly's leg. He's like, Oh, you okay there, buddy? And then he just runs out of the lecture. Yeah, yeah, it was Dude, funny. He'll, he'll do well if he continues. 
Yeah. And I think he will. Anybody can make a comeback. He's super. You should try to like, do some sort of epic prank with him. He wants again, to. Yeah, yeah he, he wants, wants to. to. I um, message him, yeah. Because yeah. I saw what he said on your pod. He's like, why, is, why haven't I been on the full send pod yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of viral, remember when he you did that vlog year, uh, the raw, I'm sorry, the zoo culture anniversary, and then like Neon was oh there, my God. Yeah, yeah. and he did that whole like that was like his comeback, Loki. Yeah, because he's like, oh, can you? Si-? Like he had a. Do you know what that story? So Neon, had his girlfriend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw yeah. That. yeah it's yeah. like, can you sign her nudes or something? Can you sign my photos? Well, it wasn't nudes. It was just that was like, at your gym. Yeah, it was yeah. At your and gym. he was there in the background. It, he, yeah. he took it off of her OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just printed photos and was like, he had it on. So like, does she do full nudes? No, it wasn't full nudes. It oh, was just okay, like, that's that's what. It, it wasn't full nudes. It was just like inappropriate kind of photos, I guess, in a sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, even you were laughing about it too, right? Like, yeah, I mean, he's... He, so he, is this shit like, is Neon actually pissed about that or is he just kind of reacting think, for the I camera? I think he is because you can... <gasps> Brad, what do you think? What do you... You can see it in the streams. There's definitely some animosity, bro. <laughs> I think Neon did definitely start to grow to really like this girl. Yeah. So like, of course, he's going to have some like... If like, you see your girl get her. offended. Yeah. You're or is, this, he just, is he just playing his too. character at that point? The only reason why I know it's a little bit of both is because when I saw them, he's a cutie guy. Is so funny. he was supposed to go box Bryce, oh. and when they were in person, like yeah. I, I was watching the stream, I was supposed to pull up, but I was like, I don't, I just, I didn't want to drive an hour and a half, to be honest. So I sat at home and I watched it, and he was genuinely mad. They were genuinely both kind of hot at each other because he did smash his phone, he threw the phone down. What? They were, and he was like pouring water on him, but they were seriously like not happy with each other, you know. So I think it was there. There's You're, definitely realness yeah. there. I just think like beef is just so like it's just so stupid sometimes. Of course, but like, kick is all beef, right? Yeah, this is a good comp. This is a good topic. That's why I felt like, like it wasn't the right spot for us too. Yeah, it's it's. I it, enjoyed it. It's, it's just hard. It seems like people just go harder and harder and harder because it's like they have that to. faster. Like you know, like YouTube, like you kind of keep trying to top the prank, you top the next thing, you yeah. try and go harder. This is happening so fast that it's like, where do you go? You know, like, where do you go? Like, what's the next I, I don't know, but I'm also, I started to wonder, like, how many people actually, like, get home or they're at their house and they're watching these streams. But I tuned in for the first time yesterday and I kind of started to understand it. Yeah. Like, just having it on in the back, it's yeah. fucking entertaining, bro. Yeah. yeah. If I've you watch the right person, I don't know. I don't yeah. watch kick streams, to be honest. That yeah, it's boring for me. How about Neon? How, how do you see his longevity being? I think if he continues, I mean, he's gonna have to evolve his content. Of course, everyone. Yeah. Like he's gonna have to involve more people. He's gonna have to involve like but his more character. girls. His, what's that? His character. Involve the character. Involve like what he's actually doing. Because you can't, you can't just do like. The, I think he's funny though. Yeah, he's I funny. Do. Yeah. I, th- I think he's jokes. You he can't is, just keep doing the beef he stuff. He just played the yeah. dumb thing. Be genuine I don't know. too. It's kind of yeah, weird. Right? Yeah. It also be genuine with like your personality on camera. No. Yeah, I think, and then the balance on that's tough because, like, I feel like because the streamers think it has to be crazy because it's so interactive. That they have to kind of keep topping it, but like I think there is true like moments like our moments of that of like building real f- fan base is like this kind of shit where you're kind of just talking and sharing what you're really thinking, and that stuff is more like you have to be up on this crazy level, which isn't so much like hey this is where I'm at, this is what I'm doing with my life today, because like you th- they they get caught up thinking like Fousey, this happened to him like he his 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 his, his resistance to coming back is like he's not going to be as crazy as people pictured him, right. so he's thinking people aren't going to like me as much as they like me there. And, and I'm like, bro, you just got to do it. And like, even if you don't get as many viewers, maybe you just have you build that core audience who's getting to know you. Yeah. So I know it wants to be a flop viewership wise. Yeah. But like, I think there is a balance of you have to have some streams that like you're really just connecting with people. It sounds fucking whatever, but like, I think that's really important. And I think I'm balance. like that too, though. I don't want to yeah. do shit unless it's going to like pop off. Well, yeah. Cause like, I don't want to do shit. That's going to not be as big as the last video. Exactly. Or, like, but, strategic. but like, we're, I think bro, that's, that's with every creator. No, no, that's something just, I've been struggling with recently. It's just like such a transition t- period too for content, you know? Yeah. But it's weird overall because we are like the first people and like all these people doing content in general at the high level are the first people really experiencing having so many views and like if you don't get as much you're like this whole like fucked up mind game thing is not it's not a normal thing no, right it's not. and it's then honestly there's, fucked up, dude. it's it is insane it really can take and then, then there's more people coming in so then there's less viewers necessarily to go around or you're everyone's fighting for this or for that but i think if you build core like audience and you don't always stress the number which is hard because you're we're, we built our shit on stressing the number mm-hmm. but you have to kind of distance yourself from that in order to like really connect with people yeah you know so i think you have to have moments like that otherwise you're just constantly chasing that high. And then, you know, if we historically, like, you know, the worst case thing that ever happened was like the whole Logan Paul thing where he chased it. Right. And then he realized like, fuck, this is not what I should have been doing. You yeah. know, so it's finding moments where we just have moments like this. And like those streamers, I think they're not, they're not doing that because they're getting on stream being like, it's gotta be fucking insane. Because the audience is like, 
this is boring, this is that, this is whatever, but you need those moments too. I really believe that. God damn it, dude. But I think Crazy. everyone's You're two for two on like really inspirational and being on point. So I'm not even kidding you. Facts. But there's, no, nothing, there's nothing better than like your like reward for making a dope piece of content is views. Of course. Like it's not like you're view hungry, but it's just like, I, I think we all just, we're, we're like natural like entertainers. Like we like to make something, we like to put it out yeah. and we like to get positive feedback on it. And like the yeah. views is like, well, that's the kind of the reflection of like your hard work. Like you're yeah. like, damn, I made this. Look and how many people, people here's, yeah. here's the thing with like, that. Like it's a good feeling, right? It's like, damn, people love my work. Yeah. Here's the thing with that is now the, uh, the new trend too is you can do just pretty much the dumbest thing possible and get those kind of views. So when you have someone who's putting in a lot of work and being like quality and it's not hitting the same as people who are like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Like but, we're talking, like he has this pulled up about like that kid that's like putting the fork in a toaster. What yeah, that's insane. Heck? And it's like, it, just, it, it, it goes crazy and you're just I mean, sitting there like, wow. I saw, like, I saw that, but yeah. yeah. But, but, there, but the, I always tell you this too, there's no longevity in that type of shit. Right? Which, which kind? Of, that's the point. Like there's so many people that like, think of like, I don't know, like think of like the fucking Island Boys or like, oh. what about that random girl? Remember that girl like Lil Tay? Yeah. yeah like yeah, yeah, those yeah. super viral yeah. people, you yeah. never want to look at them and like copy what they're doing. You could take a little bit of what they're doing, but don't change your whole fucking style Cause it's crazy how big they fall off and they're just gone. Yeah. How many people have been like that? Most, but so I can reference this. I don't know. I'm trying to sound like cocky, but I can reference my come up was like, I did a bunch of viral shit at a point, but that's, it did get a bunch of views, but it, you're getting away from like where you really started. And like, I could say for out without a doubt, like, you know, you talk about the viewership is like, Oh, the big, you know, all these views, all these likes, all this engagement is like the payoff. But there is a real genuine payoff, like specifically for me, because I would meet people who would say like, yo, when you talked about this, yeah. you, you changed my life. Specific and it was like, moments. you're not going to get that from like all the views. That's going to be from the things when you're like sitting talking about your life and where you're at and right. like where, where you are as a person. And, and what I'm saying is like people as creators are missing that because I, I have agree. longevity because people will come up to me, come to my gym for the last 10 years, eight years, the gym's been over eight years and be like, yo, I watched you and I, and I learned and I got into the gym. Like mine's, mine's from a different perspective because it's like fitness related and people got like that kind of like, yo, I, I started training because of this and I, I saw you talk about your dad and so like I looked at my life this way. And, but those are videos that didn't get as many views, maybe 100,000, 200,000 back in the day, but the quality of that sort of right. like content was so yeah. much greater than, wow, he got a million views and it's crazy. I think yeah, another thing with longevity too is sense. being genuine all the time. Yeah. yeah. Like you were just talking about, like being off camera, you you're the same, pretty much the same guy. Yeah, my my. And like yeah. I, we went out like to, we were at live the other day, and there's like this pop in, she's a pop in chick in Miami that does content and shit. We're invited to the same section by the same person, same DJ. Yeah. And she, there's just like you know I I like to go up to people, introduce myself, be respectful, and she just throws so much shade, like just gives me one of these, doesn't even look my way after I go up and say what's up, and it was just Who's like. That? I won't say her name, but she's just like, she's oh, popping chick in Miami. Just drop it. Let's go. Yeah, it was 2024 nah, internals. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do all that, but I'm just saying like. <laughs> wow, you said you're going to call her. It right? is crazy when you act like you're call super, her, you're super genuine. And Bro, then, who is it? I don't want to say it. You say it off camera then. Whatever. She was rude. I get it. I get it. Yeah. It is. I mean, not everyone's I don't, I don't. I don't really give a f but it is just like, it's just, I don't understand why it's got to be like that appearance like how you know i'm better than you whatever the shit is i mean i don't really take that personally like i didn't take it personally maybe she just just doesn't fuck with us who gives you know who you are maybe she just doesn't like our content as you get fair yeah it's fair she's not gonna be rude though you never had a bad interaction with another creator have you i mean if she's rude then yeah she's she clearly just has an ego like she has an ego but who gives a fuck she just the older you get you know the less fucks you give just wrap wrap it you wrap it that's it i mean that was a great fucking internal brad thank you dude look at what happens when you come back magic bro shut up brad let's go baby I'm gonna get an email from Brad's lawyer very, very soon. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll, I'll talk I'm joking, to you. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll yeah. talk to you. We gotta have Brad on. I love having and Brad. And listen, here. I think even like, we should just do these internals. Let's make them fucking crazy. Yeah. Bob, yeah. if you're watching, I think Bob could be on a few episodes throughout the year. Yeah, yeah. Let's just have the biggest different opinions. We need some disagreements. Bob, stop suing Kyle and Elk. Stop it. Stop yeah. it. Right? Come in, come I think Dana, Dana will sit on, on some internals too. Dana's one of the boys. We should just have him on. Dude, like Dana's so sick, man. Ten yeah. times a year, too. Yeah, that'd be let us know what you guys think. I know you guys love these internals, but if you guys want us to keep running these, you guys are obviously wanting Brad back on the pad. We know the comments are just going to be fucking. 
Fuck it, dude. Let's do <laughs> dude, it. You're pretty. You're you're really good today, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. We do. We do just vibe so well on the pod. Yeah, bro. Stoney's fucking so happy. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's really fun, dude. Let's go, yeah, baby. Really oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is Amsterdam a city or a country? <laughs> city. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That's how we end the pocket. Yeah. Good shit, boys.